Okay, don't, 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 don't tip over the camera. Okay, that's good. Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Phil Pereira from Living Clay Workshop, and today, it's finally here. We are finally, we are finally going to do an instruction video. I'm going to teach you, I'm going to give, give you about five to ten minutes, and uh, we're going to, I'm going to teach you how to sculpt, today's sculpture, I'm going to teach you how to sculpt classic Mickey Mouse, black and white, all that good stuff. So, let's, uh, let's get over here. And so what you are going to need is um, black and white, you know, so probably about the size of maybe like a little small foosball or a little ping pong ball. And um, yeah, so the first step is um, whether, you get, whether you get your clay in like the, here, let me see. Whether you get the clay in like these ounces or whatever, or if you want, I prefer to buy the basic colors in bulk. Um, you just, you just peel away all you need and, um, I wasn't going to show, oh yeah, first step, take off all personal wear. Anyway, so, um, you want to start off, um, just, just rolling up the balls, you know, like try to get the air out of them, getting them all loose and moist and all that good stuff. All right, now next, um, we're going to take away just enough to make a head. So we're going to just make a perfect sphere. We're just going to make a perfect sphere. Um, so, you see, yeah, just make a perfect sphere. It may take a few minutes. I usually like to use, like, two fingers like this and just continue to just keep on rounding out until um, it looks nearly perfect. If you can get it perfect, then you are perfect. Okay, so that's number one. And next, we're going to take a little bit of white clay, um, not just just um, to where it looks like it's going to be enough to make like the like his bottom section, kind of like his chin area. Oh yeah, um, if you ever get like black smears on there, um, just continue to keep mixing it, keep um, just keep squishing it around like this. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit of gray in the white clay, but um, it shouldn't matter too much, it's not dominant, and um, it's, it's not like a distracting, what is it, it's not a distracting stain like red on white, so you're going to be fine. So we're going to turn in a sphere, and then we're going to turn a long ways like that, and for now, um, the whole thing is an empty can, it's pretty much an empty canvas, this sphere, so you can just pick any place you want, and you're just going to you're just going to smear it on there. So we're just going to start pressing. Um, wet your fingers. A lot of times I tend to just put my finger in my mouth, just get some saliva to use as like a liquid to help me like smooth it out, help my finger not get stuck to the, to the wet clay, not get sticky and all that. Um, you can always use like a, like a cup of water or a little bowl of water. So you just... You just um, just keep spreading it around without your fingers getting sticky, you know, and just come back and smooth it out. And it looks like we got a big wide smile. Next, um, we're gonna take a little bit more clay, um, a ball slightly smaller than what we used for like the bottom section, the little chin section. So just roll that up, and um, you see how we kind of made it like kind of like a like a um, Kind of like a log right there. Um, it's gonna be shorter. We gotta make it shorter than than like the long thing that we had here. So looks like that should be short enough. We're gonna we're gonna put that right there, and we're just gonna continue to wedge it around like that. Sorry, um, this is the first time. In the, in the future, I am gonna be getting a. Uh, a video camera to where I can have it mounted above my head or like from the or like a first hand view that way I'm not I'm not away like this trying to get like that and you're like dude I can't see what you're doing can't see what you're doing okay. so there so you, you got the chin and then you got the eye section so take it take a few minutes take a few seconds just to look at that compare just to make sure that Yours is looking a little like that. Okay. And um, now we're going to add the snout. 
So this is probably going to be just as big as like the, this piece is going to be just as big as like the top section here, except we're not going to roll down to a log. We're actually going to start off as a sphere, but then kind of widen it a little bit. We're not going to turn it into, um, we're not going to turn it into a cylinder. So um, we're just going to pat it down, you know, make it look like a, a little mound. And um, so like in this um, front area there, we're going to, we're going to put it right there. You see that kind of looks like a clown nose. We're going to come back and we're going to just blend that in there. We're going to smooth it out. Alright, just smooth it out. Okay. Okay, now it's all smoothed out. You see how we um, we just smoothed it. We just pretty much um, eased it into the into the sculpt. And now we're just gonna just pat it down, make it make it look like that. All right. So there we go. There we go. Now um, now let's make the ears for Mickey Mouse. So we're just gonna take a little bit of clay. Um, a little bit bigger, you know. We just need we just need enough to spill in half and make the two ears. So we got two spheres going on. So again, just take two fingers in the palm of your hand, turn it into a perfect sphere. Now we're gonna flatten it out. You know, you just pinch it a little bit. Just make just make an ear like that. And um, now we get okay. That's a little too big, so we can just. Um, what are we gonna do with this one? So I'd say let's just split this one, split that one in half, and maybe take a little away from the other, from the other piece of clay. Sphere it out again, split it in half, and just make two spheres like that. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna wedge out the ears again, and then. Um, we're just going to set one of them there, and let's get the other one here. Okay. And we're going we're gonna to mount it right there, and those are the, and there are the ears. Um, it's too, um, I'm kind of too late to bring out my tools and stuff, I'll have to do that like a remake. So, but for now, you can do this without any tools. You know, you just go on the back side, kind of bend it out forward. We're going to do like what we did in the front. We're just going to, we're just going to smear the clay from the earpiece onto the headpiece like that. You know, you see how it kind of looks smooth now as opposed to that. So we're just going to, we're just going to do that. So, we, like I said, we don't have to use, we don't need to grab any tools. So that's that so far. And um, now we're going to add the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. So let's do the nose first. So we're going to kind of make it, you know, kind of look like a long ways bead. Going to stick it onto his snout and just pinch it like that. And there's that. Now we're going to grab... Oh, I'll set that there. Um, and now we're going to take even smaller beads for the eyes. And we're just going to set them on there. We're just going to... Just going to do that. That looks good. So now we're going to do the same for the other side. Yeah, just roll it up and then just place it on there and kind of just just kind of, kind of push it in there. You don't need to you don't you don't want to wedge it like we did like all the other pieces like the white piece onto the like the white snout onto the other pieces just because it's just we want it to look a little more clean. We want it to look um like an individual piece. So there's that, and this is an this is an effect that I've learned to do from like anime 
from like anime characters. If you look closely, if any of you know anime, it's Japanese, pretty much Japanese cartoons. And like in the eyes, they have like a white dot in the middle of their eye to kind of like show glimmer. So I think that we ought to do that just to add more cuteness to this guy. So we're going to take a very, very, very small piece of white clay, roll it up into the, kind of like the same form, and we are going to just, just lightly place it on his eye. There's that. And let's just make another... Let's just... Okay, that's a little too big. So, um... It depends on, like, how big you want the piece, but... Um... Just take your time trying to... Find the right size for your... For your eyes, like... I'll spend probably, like, ten minutes just trying to come up with the right size for eyelashes. That'll be another... That'll be another tutorial. It's gonna take longer than ten minutes. So there's that. <clears throat> and now um we're gonna make <clears throat> we're gonna make the we're gonna make the mouthpiece. So for this one, we're we're gonna give him a smile. So you see, kind of long ways like that, and we're just gonna place it underneath his snout. Sorry, you can't see. Okay, so it looks like he's like, huh, oh, oh, what to think. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do, we're just kinda make one side wedge up, kinda upward like that. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna touch it up just a little bit, that way it looks more sharper. The angles just look a little sharper. Even though you can't see, I'm sorry about that. And, um, and I think that's it. There you are, so there's a Mickey, there's, there's your own Mickey Mouse head that you made at home. So, um, yeah, so just 10, just, that only took us less than 10 minutes, 10 minutes or so to make. So, um, yeah, so congrats. You made your first Mickey Mouse sculpture. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, just really, oh, just really quick. I don't think she'll mind. She, um, this is my class, this is my classmate over here. She, um, her name is Ginger. She helped me, um, close the door and keep, keep everyone quiet outside, you know, they just come barging in like, ah, for no reason, you know, humans sometimes. So thank you, thank you very much. So anyway, um, I hope you guys had fun, and um, let me know what you think. Um, post, post photos in the comments section, or um, find me on Living Clay Workshop, or um, just hashtag me, uh, PeopleRare1138, and we'll see how you guys did. So thanks again. Um, tune in next time. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video, and um, send me requests. Um, what characters or charms or what, whatever you want, um, just send me a request and we'll do a tutorial on it. So thanks again. This is Philip Barrera from Living Clay Workshop, and we'll see you guys later. See ya! <laughs> I had to.